Hey friends, I'm trying something a little different today. Neurographic art. You're like, wait, what? Neurograph what? My DMs across platforms are filled with your questions about neurographic art, and I finally decided to try it. Neurographic art is basically a visual way to transform your stress into art using free flowing lines and a meditative coloring style technique to fill Architect shapes. Pavel Piskarev developed this technique in 2014, and you basically start with a marker. Most people are using a broad tip sharpie and you loosely create wavy lines back and forth but for me something just felt a little off a little lackluster and so I wanted color so I tried a different marker a colorful marker but the tip was still bothering me I finally realized I needed a brush tip. A flexible tip would change everything and a lighter color instead of the black would hide any of the imperfections that inevitably happened. Okay, this is how it works, I think. Think of your issue, your problem, your stressor, and slowly and gracefully for three seconds, create a continuous looping, sloopy doopy line across your paper. Now where each line intersects, you're going to thicken and create these little neuron type intersections. In my opinion, this is where the flexible brush tip comes in handy because as you go from a thick line where everything intersects out to the thin line meeting up with that original sloopy doopy line you created, you have a lot more control and you can get a beautiful, continuous, graceful line more easily with this type of marker. The point of this exercise is to really get in the moment, lose yourself in the moment. And so for me, if something like my marker is distracting me, then I need to figure out a way to make that not happen. Now, before you dive in and try this yourself, I have one tip that you might not think of. Stretch your hands. This exercise, again, is all about getting in the moment. And if your hands are feeling stiff or your shoulders are feeling tight, you need to stretch, breathe, take a moment to just really clear. I'm using my half inch dagger today to fill in these shapes. Right? Painting with clean, clear water first. Fill that entire shape and then you can start to drop in color of your choice into the clean water and watch it flow. I love this technique for filling a shape. Friends, are you having a good time? If you are, give this video a boop. That's a like. It really helps my channel out. And head into comments and let me know if you're going to try this. Next up, you can start by adding a color. I'm using a creamy ivory here. And then I'm going to go in when this is wet with a pink. And boom, I have a gorgeous little spot I just filled quickly. This is definitely a you do you boo type of situation. You choose the colors that make you feel most alive. For me, it was a limited palette with all these peachy, poppy tones. But for you, you might really like the high contrast and that's cool. I'm down with it as long as you are. I brought in a little ink onto the wet page just to get that wow explosion and that was fun, but then I had a puddle. So I'm actually using the paint in that puddle to continue on filling my shapes here. Letting my brush run out is super fun and you get a lot of beautiful textures. Oh my gosh, I went with a little bit of a stormy blue color here and I had some of that poppy orange color on my brush still and I'm down with it. Continuing on here, some opera rose, and letting the water in my brush just spread these colors out. Friends, I didn't think I was going to like this, I have to be honest. I saw it again and again, and I just felt like maybe it wasn't for me. But with a few simple changes that made this project more me, I'm feeling so relaxed and really feeling like I took a breath of fresh air with this project. Another way to fill the shape, start with a bold color and then add another bold color right on top. I'm being mindful though, not to give you too much instruction here because the point is to think of a problem, to do your three second loopy doopy sketch and then to immerse yourself in the beautiful moments of filling in with color and to not have a ton of rules or plan. After trying this myself, of course I do have a few tips to make sure your experience with this is really stress-free. Number one, use one brush if you're painting your shapes. Friends, the basic idea for this tip is keep it simple. 
don't burden yourself with a bunch of different supplies and to do's and goals for this painting. This is about you, your emotions and breathing with your art. Tip number two, and again, I know there's not supposed to be any rules, but if you're someone who tends to get overwhelmed with a lot of choices, limit your color palette by design so that you have a lot less choices to make as you work through this. And so that you can focus on the cathartic angle of this project. Tip number three, give yourself the margin, the time to finish this completely. And if that means starting small, then start small, but really invest in yourself here. Are you inspired? Let me know in comments what you're gonna try and I really wanna know what colors you're gonna use. My guess is you're ready for more of this. And if you are, I have three more exercises just as fun and inspiring as this one, so you're gonna wanna watch them next. Happy painting, friends.